So today we are talking body hair and you're probably thinking, why do we have to talk about this? But um, seeing as how it's Friday and it's a woman to woman video, I have decided to do a little bit of a different one and talk about something that's kind of less weight related. Um, because it's something that I have been thinking about a lot lately. And the first part of this is when it comes to body hair, I'll kind of talk about me personally. Um, being dark haired, I have got body hair. I'm not the hairiest person in the world um, and it's not like a huge problem for me personally um, as it would be for some other people. But it is somewhat of a problem and for example on arms I feel like sometimes it's a little bit too visible. I don't know how visible it actually is on camera but I can feel like they're a little bit too visible but it was never really a problem for me until I moved here because living in Israel it was very hot and I was in the sun a lot and I'm lucky in that my body hair, the slightest bit of sunlight and it just turns blonde. So that was fine. And I've only ever like shaved the lower part of my leg. I never shaved my thighs because the hairs there aren't very noticeable. And as I said, they just turn completely golden blonde in the sun. So it was never too much of a problem. But living here, I feel like it's made me more aware of how hairy I am because I feel like a lot of the popula popula population, a lot of the population, a lot of the population is blonde and blondes tend to be fairer. So they tend to have less body hair and it's made me feel like I'm really hairy. And as far as I was concerned, kind of coming from a country where most people were dark haired, I was considered like quite fair and I wasn't hairy at all. But here I am considered quite hairy in my own terms. Obviously no one's ever told me I was hairy. But, you know, I'm not one of those lucky girls who can just shave under her arms, you know, once a week and have no regrowth. Shave her legs every two weeks and just have little speckles of hair that's not me. I need to be on top of it all the time and it's more so kind of to do with my personal preference and probably my kind of image of what it's supposed to be like but for example certain things can really drive me crazy. If I haven't had a proper bikini wax that will drive me insane. I won't be able to kind of feel comfortable and I won't be able to be relaxed and it's just something that I don't like and that I won't feel kind of clean and tidy if that makes sense. But um, I do, as I said, my lower legs my upper half of my legs I don't, under my arms I do, bikini I do. Um, upper lip hair, kind of gross to discuss, but everyone has that tiny, tiny little bit of faint upper lip hair, unless you're incredibly lucky. And every now and then I'll wax it, but to be honest, it's not that noticeable that it's ever really, really bothered me before. It's more so if I'm in direct sunlight and I'll suddenly look at my face and think, oh dear, you might want to deal with that. But as I said, in the sun it goes totally blonde and it's kind of invisible, so it's difficult and I'm very much a believer in don't start doing something that you don't want to then have to constantly maintain because if for example you shave the tops of your legs that's it you're always going to have to do that and I know a lot of people are going to comment on this video and say why don't you get laser treatment but I don't necessarily really believe in laser treatment I'm not sure how effective it would be and I'm not sure it's just something that I'm willing to do just yet but I might change my mind about it at some point I don't know I am doing the at home one still under my arms but that's a different matter and it's very interesting how certain places have got more of an issue with hair removal than others and coming from a hot country I feel like we very much had an issue with hair because your skin was more exposed. Living here it's so cold most of the time when you have to be bundled up anyway that it doesn't really matter as much but coming from somewhere where it did I it's kind of been left in me and I my mum is kind of a dark blonde kind of very little body hairs never had to pluck her eyebrows that kind of thing but I have and like my eyebrows grow super quickly if I don't do them for like a couple of days I'll just get tiny little strays just so they're always tidy but if I leave them for like a week they get really unruly and um, same goes for legs I epilate and then I'll kind of shave if I want a really really smooth finish because that's the thing I never ever get a smooth finish no matter what I do the finish of my hair removal is never 100% perfectly amazing and smooth which is quite depressing so that's something that I kind of do struggle with and I feel like we have kind of been made to think that you're supposed to be completely hair free. And especially when it comes to like Brazilian waxing and things like that, I think especially the newer generation of men who have grown up watching quite a bit of porn and things like that, it's kind of socially acceptable to think that women are hairless. And newsflash, we aren't. If you are, you're so lucky because we aren't. And it's a constant battle. And it's so much maintenance and time and 
it's just like an ongoing battle and it isn't fun and it isn't pleasant and it's not something that you know we do embracingly um well but i mean i will wax my bikini for example because it makes me feel better it's got nothing to do with who i'm with and i would kind of get myself tidy um even if i was single and that's just my personal preference but my personal preference i believe stems from kind of being used to that and it's kind of very frowned upon if you are a girl and you're kind of hairy and i think that's really really weird um because you know we're all human beings some hairier than others and it just varies very much kind of like a bit of too much information maybe but my boyfriend is um he's he's, he's got really strange body hair in terms of the hair on his head grows super thick super strong and just very very quickly same goes for his beard he's the type that you know will shave and have kind of shadow by five o'clock and um five o'clock shadow and um that kind of thing but then hardly any body hair like no chest hair whatsoever which i prefer um hardly any arm hair i swear sometimes i feel like i have more arm hair than him and it, it's weird it kind of feels like you know we're supposed to be the fairer species but are we always the fairer species? I don't know. It's just, it's a little bit, I don't want to say disheartening because that's not really the right word, but it's somewhat confusing when you have been brought up to believe that you are supposed to kind of be completely hairless because we're always tackling the hair problem and always making sure that you're neat and tidy and always kind of keeping on top of the situation. And it's a really tedious situation to have to keep on top of. And it's not, as I said, particularly pleasant or particularly enjoyable for us and it's something that I feel that as women we all have struggled with at one point in our lives and how amazing would it be if someone just came with a magic wand and said you're hair free here you go you don't have to worry about it anymore it's kind of like you know that pain in the ass curse it's kind of like time of the month type thing I think where it's just crap and it sucks but there's nothing you can really do about it so yeah that was kind of my little rant in this video I'd love to know what you think and if you think we are totally um influenced by kind of the culture that women are supposed to be hair free and what you think about it I'd love to know and I will see you all in my next video